In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this noisy gradient effect. Basically we have a blue sphere. If we decrease the multiply math nodes value, a noisy material slowly takes it over. Here are the full nodes. The texture coordinate nodes object is connected to both noise texture and add math nodes. If I remove the add math node part, another illusion is going to appear. The nodes can be customized this way. I have also tried mixing two sets of PBR images, and they worked well as well. Let me duplicate the full set of nodes, and show you a way to mix two emission nodes. We need two emission nodes and a mix node. We would need a color ramp node in between the separate X, Y, Z and the emission nodes. The same effect occurs when we add two emission nodes in the mix node. But the issue is how both nodes are illuminating at the same time. I have confirmed the same issue would occur when mixing an emission with a normal color node. I have tried various ways to keep the original color intact while a strong emission is being introduced, but nothing worked. The material looked even more fading, when I increased the emission strength. Then I found out, if I use a dark material for the sphere, I can get the cool emission gradient effect I've been looking for. Let's change the blue to black to see what happens. The original color stays while the emission takes over, and there's no fading issue. The sphere's material will not glow, even when we greatly increase the emission strength. The glow and the fade effect will follow the emission material's border, and that's exactly what I wanted to see.
That's what I wanted to achieve. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.